All right, good morning. I'm your host, Jay Powell. Welcome to a Saturday morning edition of Home Time as we take on that dirty, nasty, leaky sewer drain under the house. I am at the Home Depot. Can go over the materials we'll be using today. Of course, we got our two foot section of three inch pipe. That's gonna go in there. We got Ote medium clear PVC cement. A PVC three inch coupling and a repair coupling. A husky saw. Gotta cut a section of pipe out. Flathead screwdriver. PVC clamp, hose clamp. I'll show you what I'll be using that for later. Not necessarily probably what you think it's for. It's actually make a straight line on the drain pipe so I can cut it off square. All right, and that's what I'll be marking it with. We got a lantern and good old trusty handy daddy, handy dandy flashlight and some gloves. So as you come around here to the back of the house, actually the side, I'm gonna show you the crawl space that we're working under. And um, you say we got water issues because almost every bit of the water that comes through our neighborhood at Drake Forest wants to exit through my crawl space before it releases into the Tennessee River. So here's how I discovered we had a problem. It's right back there in that corner where we keep the sump pump and we have to turn it on every time it rains to keep everything pumped out. But uh, there's an odor. And it don't just smell fishy. It kind of smells like duty. And after further investigation, I realized we had a leak in the sewer line. It exits the house right up there. So that's where we'll be going today. And so here is the problem. Right underneath that coupling on the side closest to the wall, there's a small gap. It just worked itself out. I don't know what's happening, some shelves, some, it just pulled itself out of that coupling and now it's dripping the poo water into the crawl space. That's the mess. That we're trying. A project you try to do solo, you wind up not getting the right materials. So I got two couplings, three inch couplings. Well, looks like right here, I need a, a 45 or 33, whatever that may be coupling instead of the 90 I, that I got so it's like another trip back to Home Depot and I exclusively told her do not flush the commode or anything while I'm under here she's killing me I said, in, I said, go get me a rag because what I want to do is clean up this pipe and what I'm going to do is back up over here and put that repair coupling back in this area. It's going to give me enough slack to reuse this coupling. I'm just going to glue it up good and, and stick it back on there. Because basically it was only on there about, you know, a little over a quarter of an inch into the sleeve. She's turning it on again. <laughs> Quit using the water! <laughs> I told you do not use it while I'm under here. I'm working on the main drain. Yeah, sometimes we have a communication problem, very evident here. You see here I got it cut, uh, got about three different pieces right now. I'm going to attach, I'm going to put the glue on there, attach this coupling, and uh, that's going to give me some slack 
to go back up here and reattach the 45 degree coupling up there. So now this side of the coupling is in place. I'm gonna go up here to this where the main leak was, clean some of that out. <laughs> Got like toilet paper on the side of it and all kind of other debris, if you will. I was like, I get that cleaned up and then reattach that pipe and then we'll come back here and make my final final connection where I got some slack to fit it in. So these two fishermen, they went fishing and uh, one Saturday morning and they got out there to the river and the first fisherman wanted to smoke a cigar. So he asked his buddy, hey, can I borrow a lighter so I can light this cigar? So yeah, man. He pulls out a 10 inch big and tosses it to him. The first fisherman said, where'd you get that at? He said, oh, uh, my genie gave it to me. I'm like, dude, you got a genie? Can I make a wish? Sure. So the genie comes out to the first fisherman and, uh, you know, you want to make a wish? Yeah. What do you wish for? I wish for a million bucks. So by that time, she said, okay, your wish, my command disappears. And by that time, a million ducks just flew over the pond. And uh, the first fisherman's like, dang. He said, she can't hear good, can she? The other fisherman said, yeah, do you think I really wish for a 10-inch bick? I didn't quite get the seal I was looking for when I put this on. It uh, just didn't seat well as I wanted it to. I think I got on there far enough, though. I feel pretty good about it. And I uh, went back over the top and just really kind of put extra cement on the outside of the ring, hoping that'll maybe sure up some of it too. But anyhow, that's what we're going to go with. I got a lot of slack here. I'm going to try to make this connection and then let it, let it go and see what happens. So there's my last connection. And uh, once again, it's not the desired result that I wanted because... I had to pick up on both sides to get it in there, which you kind of you want, you want to happen. But uh, I strained to get them to to match up and and actually sink in there right and everything. So I'm just afraid the glue's not going to set, and uh, I don't know. And that could be the future spot that it leaks. I went outside and put some more glue on the outside ring just to kind of solder it up and. Hope that does something, but I don't feel good about it. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to dry and then uh, have Elizabeth turn the water on and see what happens. As you can see, I may not even have to tell her to, she may just do it again on her own because two times throughout this whole project, three times, she turned the water on. So. Well, no leaks on one commode flush. I'll have her go back in and turn it on. All right, the sink is on. We're gonna see what happens. Kinda hear it coming. I hope this works. I really don't wanna do anything else to it. So we got the main, the two main couplings is right there and then Right here. Yeah, I flushed the commode again. Out of the bedroom. Here comes the commode flush. I heard it go through. I think we're good. I think we are good. Okay, thanks for watching my video. <laughs> Hope you learned something. And uh, it looks like we got a, a quality fix right here. Not my best work. Not that I'm proudest of, but uh, you know, no leaks. She just turned on every faucet in the house and flushed two commodes at once. And I could hear it traveling right out and uh you know as long as 
you don't shift around, I think we're good. I think we'll be good for a while. So thank you. You know, things didn't go quite the way we expected them to, but you know, that's the way it goes when you take on a project like that. But um, in a way, everything was better because I'm gonna be able to take these parts back. I think this was like, this piece of pie was like eight bucks. And uh, this coupling was five or six dollars and the hose clamp and that marking pin wasn't too much, but I'm gonna be able to take my money back and get that fixed. So really, the only thing I bought was the, the hacksaw and the gloves and that repair coupling. So overall, you know, I may have spent 15 bucks all right, and you know, I know it would have been that plus the you know plus the labor to have somebody do it. So you know, we probably saved I don't know probably a hundred bucks doing it ourselves. So hopefully everything works out right, and you know we don't have any more leaks in there. We don't have any more poo water running through the house. And um, anyhow, hope it was helpful. If you liked it, like it. If you don't. Give it a thumbs down, and trust me, it won't hurt my feelings. Cause I know it's probably bad quality, but video, but it's my first, so bear with me. But if you liked it, like it, subscribe, and um, look forward to hearing from you, from you in the comments. Thanks.